In light of what's going on today, uh, masks are very, very popular. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make realistic looking masks to show your customers what their masks will look like when they order from you. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home. Wherever you at, and like I said, I'm going to show you how to make this mock-up right here uh, or something like this, which I just hand-painted and made it in this actual mock-up right after the intro. <laughs> Okay, so once you open the file up after you made your purchase, you'll see this screen exactly. And this is just some guidelines and different things uh, to help you throughout the process. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use this file. So obviously, once you read all of this stuff, uh, we go ahead and we turn that layer off and it brings us to our actual mock-up. All right, so there are a number of ways you can do this. If you have a pre-designed pattern, you can drop it in here, and I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff, or you can go ahead and make everything yourself. So this here uh, is your artwork layer, and all you're going to do to change this is double-click it, but I'm going to turn this off real quick. So right here, this is what the mask looks like. Um, if you actually wanted it to be white, you can just come in here, and what we'll do is we'll just turn down uh, the opacity on these layers to give you a better look. But however, you know, the 70% is where you want to be at for any colors and different things like that. Okay. So you could double click this layer and you can see that I'm able to change it to any color that I may want it to be. Uh, and again, if the shadows are too hard, what we can do is we can just go turn them down in our uh, shadow and highlight area here, okay? So once you have uh, things set up the way you want them set up, we don't want to use a pure white, okay? Keep that in mind because it's going to fade it into the background. But however, if I turn the background off, you'll see the straps. So we don't want to use a pure white, so we just want to drag it down just the hair. Uh, just so it has some uh, some separation from the background. All right, so in order to, to actually change this, all we're going to do is double click on our uh, artwork layer there. And this is an outline frame of what the mask looks like. So anything inside of here and wherever it's positioned is going to be what you see on the actual mask. So now uh, we're going to turn this off, turn this off, okay? And I just deleted them. You can turn them off or delete them. So let's say we have some artwork where basically just like what I did, um, I came up with a pattern that I wanted to use, okay, for uh, this design. So here we go. I am positioning it. All right, I'm going to put my frame above it, and I'm able to put this wherever I want it to be, right? So you can design this in here or you can drop a texture or pattern in here. And all I got to do is file save. And then, oh, I want to cut this off. Make sure you turn this off because if you don't, you're going to get these little white lines around it. So all I want to do again is file save once I have that layer off and it pops up on our mask here. Now you cannot reposition this because you're going to move the whole thing. So if you want to reposition it, you just have to go back here and say I wanted to move it down. Let me actually make it a little bit bigger. Oh, no, I need to actually. Um, so let's just say I wanna move it down a little bit just so I, I didn't like the way where it was positioned. So here I didn't save it yet. Now I'm gonna save it and then I moved it down a little bit. But what did I forget to do? Cut off this layer. So I cut that layer off and now that white line that was here disappears. So, and again, this could be anything. So let's say I didn't have anything and I wanted to come up here and make something, right? So I'm gonna fill this whole thing in uh, on a new layer with red, all right? Now I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna paint like black. I'm gonna drop the hardness down so it's just like 
Wow, like a graffiti mask. Okay, I'm gonna put some yellow on here. Bow, bow. And then I'm gonna put some blue on here. Bow, bow, bow. Let's see. Ooh, I'm actually shrinking brush. Bow. Um, and then I'm gonna put uh, the word hustle in white. Okay, I'm gonna change this to white. And I'm gonna pick a different font. Let's just pick something uh, fun real quick. Boom. And I'm gonna blow this up across it here. And I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, what do I need to do now? I need to save this, bow, and I'm, again, I turned off the frame. And then what do I got here? I have my hustle design on the actual mask mock-up. Okay, so that kind of completes the tutorial. If you guys want this, I'll put the link down in the description. If you want to find these masks, which are sublimatable, I'm going to put the link down to Silky Socks, or you can go to silky.tshirtsizer.com, and you can find all of his sublimatable blanks, as well as this mask. If he hasn't sold out, he sold out twice already. So you want to be there and be ready for when he re-releases them. Uh, and that is also my affiliate link to let him know that I sent you over there. No extra cost to you guys. Uh, and you know, you guys support the channel by clicking and shopping through that link each and every time you shop or any of my affiliate links in that matter. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the hexagon mask face cover mock-up. It's been your boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace. Uh -huh.